All right. Hey, if you're a YouTube creator, understanding your YouTube competition, getting help with script writing, understanding what content to make next, all of that's really important. And that's where Makersuite comes in. Makersuite is a tool that helps you create compelling video storylines using data and AI. And this is the Makersuite homepage. You can go in, you can read about the products, the use cases. You can see that there's a lot of uh, companies that are using Makersuite. It's got some great testimonials. It's being offered at AppSumo. This is the second time Makersuite has appeared on AppSumo. I actually have been using it since the first time it appeared. You can start at $39. It's got a variety of license tiers. Uh, all of the plans include all of these items that you see listed here. They're all part of the Makersuite offering. So you've got three different license tiers that you can purchase starting at $39. License tier two is $139. License tier three is $279. And so all of the features that you see here are included in all the plans. So you don't have to necessarily buy into a higher tier to get more capabilities. As you buy from one tier to the next, you just get more generations of scripts. You can do more what they call it exploration. You can create more descriptions and the AI generated words for the scripts are unlimited. So if you have longer scripts, you don't have to worry about any constraints around the words that are output. I'm at license tier one. That works well for me. You know, I'm just a single YouTube channel, but if you have multiple YouTube channels or maybe you're a creator that is creating a new video every day, for example, uh, then you'd want to jump into these higher license tiers. So let's just go ahead and get right into Makersuite. When you open Makersuite, this is what you see. It starts off with your projects page. This is what you're seeing here. These are some of the projects that I've been working on. You have a content explorer. You have a video analyzer. You have a guided scripting flow. It's a way to brief the AI to write a script for you, or you can even start from scratch with a script on a blank canvas. Obviously, it asks you a variety of questions to help inform that and make it easier for you to create your script. But one thing that you'll be doing a lot of is looking at your competition, looking at particular subjects that you could possibly write. When you get into the exploration section, you can go in and you can actually do some research on content. For example, you can just go to that section. If you want to place the report in a specific area, you can do that can just go ahead and start an exploration. That's pretty easy to do. Let's do something like this. Let's say we want to do a video on how to start a podcast. Click start. And so it's generating this. The generation is in progress. It does take a few minutes for this to work, typically about five minutes. If you go back to home, I can show you one that I did so let's take a look at this one. What is the most difficult part of being a YouTuber? Let's look at this report that it created for me. Well, here it is. It shows me that there were 465 videos recommended by YouTube for that particular keyword search. There were 21 relevant topics covered by videos around this particular topic, the most difficult part of being a YouTuber. There were 192 different videos it analyzed to come up with this data. And the total views across all those 192 videos was 3 billion views. And then this is some of the top five video ideas. The real cost of being a YouTuber, the secret reason why YouTube channels fail, etc. So you can look at that. You can even create a project around one of these if you want to. If you Click on info. This just tells you the target audience, project duration, tone of voice for that particular video. Same thing here. You can go through and just analyze some of these other videos that were done to help you get an idea of where you want to take your video direction around this topic. This bubble chart is sort of interesting. It gives you information about relevant but low performing videos in the top left corner. It shows you in the top right corner, if there are any, 
high performing videos with high relevance. And then in the lower right, high performing videos, but not very relevant. And then these are all in the lower left corner. These are all videos to avoid. So here's what I mean. Let's say we mouse over this particular one. YouTube advice and success stories, 75%. It's very relevant, but the quality score is lower. The average comments are lower, that kind of thing. So you can just go through, check the relevance of some of these videos, and then get an idea of where you might want to take your video. And these are lower performing videos, but it does give you some indication of where you might want to go. Here's one. Somewhat relevant YouTube content creation and influencer strategies. It's got a higher quality score. It has a lot of views and a lot of comments and likes. This was very high performing, but not relevant. So when you see something like this, self-improvement and personal development, which has nothing to do with YouTube, what Makersuite is doing is it's going out. It's looking at the YouTube algorithm, and one part of that algorithm is recommended videos. So many times, if you look in the recommended videos, you will sometimes get videos popping up that are sort of more on the personal development side and the business development side, but not necessarily specific to YouTube. So that's what this is indicating here. So the bubble chart's interesting, and it, and it can be useful. We have nothing here to look at that is high performing and super high relevance. So there are no outliers in this area that we might look at and try to map our video against, but we can look over here in the relevant but low performing area, get some ideas, and then figure out a way to make a video that could be more appealing to people than the ones that you're seeing here. So here it's going to give you all these different video topics that you can look into. You can look at the relevance scores. You can look at the quality scores. They can all be filtered. So if you want to have the highest relevancy videos come up first, challenges faced by YouTubers, that's highly relevant. But notice the quality scores of 29. There's, there's a chance that you could go in and start exploring some of these videos to see why this quality score was lower and maybe there's something that you can do to make a better video. You can look at some of the common tags. You can see the channels and when they were published. That's all very useful information. A lot of times it's very hard to understand what to title a video. So even going in and looking, looking at some of these titles is really useful. This is what you can do with this exploration area. Let's go back to home. Let's go back to explorations and let's go ahead and look at video analyzer. This is where you can go in and analyze a specific video and get some insights. We're in YouTube. Let's do this. How to start a podcast. Let's go with for beginners and let's analyze a video in this particular area because this is something that we want to do our YouTube video on. Let's go ahead and analyze this video here. I'm just going to grab the URL, go back to Makersuite. So we're in Makersuite. We'll go ahead and add the URL and do the analysis. So we're going to get the insights. It's going to load that content, retrieve that channel data. Well, this is very interesting because we can see a performance score of 41. Typically what I do is I just go right to advanced insights. But first, let's just look what it gives you just right out of the box without going to the advanced insights. Think Media is a very popular YouTube channel. The performance score just shows how well a video has performed after adjusting for the number of subscribers, time the video was watched, and the reach of the channel. We have the performance score, the sentiment score we get from the advanced insights, the watch intensity. Now this is pretty interesting because you can go in and explore what are these key areas that were really important to the viewer and got a lot of watch intensity. And we can look at that in Advanced Insights in a second. Shows us how many views, how many subscribers the channel has, how many likes, the age of the video, etc. It gives you a description of the video that you can read through. It even shows you some other videos as well on the same topic that you can go in and look at some of those scores as well. Let's do the Advanced Insights. Now we're into the Advanced Insights. A sentiment score you get based on the types of words that are used in the video itself. So 
if you had a if you had a YouTube channel that was very polarizing, let's say it was a site on politics or some other particular topic where people get uh, either very angry or maybe they're very positive about something, you might see sentiment scores that are negative or positive in nature. But typically, most YouTube channels will have a neutral score for their videos because, you know, we're not trying to be particularly polarizing. We're just reporting on the beginner's guide to podcasting. Now, once you've got the advanced insights button clicked, you can see a summary, common words, a transcript, and an outline. So if we look at the summary, this gives you a summary of this particular video. This is very helpful if you're trying to craft a video. You can look and see what kinds of things were talked about in this particular video. You can look at the common words that were talked about. Now, here's the timestamped transcript. So back up at the top, if we scroll up, let's look at this first point where there is a lot of watch intensity. So right in here, it was at 2.23. What, what's he talking about at 2.23? So let's go back down, scroll down here, find that. So people were very interested about the podcast hosting company, Podcastle. So he was talking about Podcastle and people were really interested in that. And that makes sense because if you're trying to create a new podcast, if you're a beginner, one thing that you have to figure out is where am I going to host my podcast? That makes sense. So again, you can go through and you know that if you were going to make your own YouTube video on beginning podcasting, you want to talk about podcast hosting. So what about this particular section, right? So here he's talking about microphones. Again, microphone, obviously a very important part of podcasting. Right here, yeah, right here he's talking about editing podcasting. That's important. And then where do you release your podcast to? So, you know, do you put it on Apple Podcasts, Google, et cetera, right? Where, where would you distribute your podcast so a lot of people can go and hear that? That gives you an idea of what's going on in the video. You can look at the transcript if you want to. What I think is really useful is this outline because you can get some ideas about what you might want in your video based on this outline. It's a great way to look at your high-performing competition and then see how you might want to craft your particular video. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's go back that how to start a podcast exploration is done. Let's look at the report quickly and see what that looked like. This is interesting. In this bubble chart, I was hoping it would have this. It has high performance and high relevance here. So podcasting for beginners and equipment setup. This is really interesting because you know, a lot of podcasting videos, they don't go heavily into the equipment setup. But I remember when I started my first podcast, that was really important to me, particularly how do I edit a podcast, right? This gives you an idea. If you really want a good performing video, you want to talk about equipment as part of your video because you can see that is really high relevancy and high performing. You can see that videos that cover not only the beginning tips and techniques for a new podcaster, but the equipment as well, that performed very well. That gives you a clue of where you should go with your particular video. The other part of this is a guided scripting flow. So you can use AI to create a script if you want to. You can put a title in here. You can put project goals. You can put a publisher, a target audience. So let's go ahead and do this medium script. Uh, another thing that you can do is if you have any notes that you've taken and you want to keep them here around this video, you can. It creates outlines, etc. But let's go back to the brief because you really want to start this brief to be able to do this. I'm going to call this podcasting for beginners, hosting, editing, and equipment. And that's based on looking at that competition that we are competing against in YouTube for these particular types of videos. And particularly that bubble chart that showed that uh, the high performing, highly relevant videos talked about equipment. So for language, we're going to go with US English. 
project goal. I want to help new podcasters get started from scratch. I'm not going to worry about putting publisher in here, target audience, new podcasters. You can add more context to this if you want to. It helps create a higher script quality. I'm just going to say this. I wanted to add additional context. So concentrate on finding a podcast host. Talk about the importance of a good microphone. Talk about ways to edit a podcast easily and effectively. Suggest software and services for editing. I'm going to use the default framework. A tone of voice. I'm going to say casual. I'm going to ask the AI to just be balanced. Uh, I'm going to have it narrate in the first person. You could put in a writing style in here if you wanted to. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to have it generate an outline for me. So here's the outline. It's a pretty complete outline. Again, you can go in, you can regenerate an outline if you want to, but in this case, I'm just going to have it go ahead and generate the script. So here's the script. It has the introduction, finding a host. So this is pretty neat because it says, you know, some popular hosting platforms include Buzzsprout, Libsyn, and Anchor. Anchor, not so much, but again, you could add your podcast host of your choice. Maybe um, you're using something like Podbean. You're an affiliate for Podbean. Obviously, you'd want to talk about it in here. Let's just take a quick peek at this introduction and see how it sounds. Hey, everyone, I'm so excited to have you here today. If you're thinking about starting a podcast, you've come to the right place. Podcasting is an incredible medium for sharing ideas, stories, and connecting with people all over the world. Whether you want to discuss your favorite hobbies, interview interesting guests, or share personal experiences, podcasting gives you a voice. So that's what the script sounds like. You can also create a script right here from scratch if you want to. You can put in a brief, ideas, but then your scripting can just be from scratch. And so I'm not going to go too deeply into that, but it gives you ways to put in titles, headers, highlight things. This is the very useful piece of this. You can ask AI for help. What are five popular podcast hosting companies? You can go through this information here and then pull out what you want and build it into your script. So that's the way that you could build a script from scratch, but still use AI to help you along the way. For instance, if you wanted to do something like this, you could ask, what are five popular podcast editing services? Let me just close that. We'll ask AI. And here you go. You can see some of these services here. But you can see how you can use AI and then look at information, pull it into a script, build out a script yourself if you want to, or you can have it generate a script based on brief that you put in and some other prompts for an auto-generated script. If you have a YouTube channel and you need scripts, you need ideas, you need to look at your competition and figure out how to craft videos that will be highly relevant and highly performing. Makersuite is a tool that can give you all of that information to help you do that. It starts at $39. And again, you know, you can get 15 scripts per month. You can do 15 of the expirations per month, 30 descriptions per month. And it has all of these features listed here I have a link in the video description you can use and go out to AppSumo and take a look at Makersuite. I am an AppSumo affiliate, so if you do make a purchase, I do make a small commission. Until next time, take care.